Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how a quantum computer works and what is the basic fundamentals that we need to learn to understand a quantum computer. Now as we can see, qubit is the core fundamental concept or bit that is used in quantum computing. But when it comes to original quantum computing and its functionality, it is quite complex to understand how a qubit works. For that, we have designed a complete Monstack website with the interface so that anyone can literally start learning the basics of qubit, how it works, how the gates are applied, how the circuit functions and everything can be learned in just a small particular website. And now I am going to show you how this website works. Hello everyone, I am Madhusudan and I really want to thank our Chief Minister Sri Nara Chandrababu Naidu sir and our Chairman Venkat Rao sir for giving us this opportunity to expose our quantum simulator website to everyone. So now, as you can see, we are on to our quantum qubit simulator website which we have designed and now here you can understand the processing of a qubit in the quantum circuit, how a qubit behaves and how it is processed when we apply certain gates so that we can see the output exactly in front of the screen. Now let's see. So first initially we have uh, taken three qubits. Now just for a basic reminder. Qubit lies between the states of both 0 and 1. It might be either 0 or it might be either 1. So now what we are going to do, we are just going to understand how these 0 and 1 vary when we apply certain amount of gates. Now let's see, we have first here the Q0 which is the first qubit we have selected and here for the first qubit we are going to apply a poly X gate. Now for poly X gate for a reminder we just need to understand that it just flips the position of the qubit. Now let's suppose the position of the qubit is 0 initially and when you apply the poly x gate it becomes 1 and when it is 1 it becomes 0. So that is what the poly x gate is simply a not gate type when we see in DLCO and this is what the poly x gate does and you, you can see in the output uh, transition that the first qubit q0 is just flipped from q0 I mean 0 state to the 1 state. It is just like a transition happened for changing its position and similarly it is also happening for Q1. Now we have selected the Q1 qubit and again applied an X poly X gate. Again as you can see now the second qubit Q, Q1 Q has also flipped its position from 0 to 1. And we can also see a qubit which is Q2. Now here we are going to apply the Hadamard gate. What is Hadamard gate and what it does is Hadamard gate keeps the both of the qubits or take one qubit to superposition which means it is not 0 and not 1. It is just in the middle of them. It is just center of 0 and 1 so that it can accurately measure the output of 0 and 1 with high probabilities. Now as you can see Q, Q0 and Q1 are flipped to one position and the Q2, the, Q, the qubit Q2 is just positioned at the center of both 0 and 1. Now when you click run and as you can see here, we can even measure what is the output of each qubit. Now you can see qubit 0, it is already having the probability of 1 because we have applied a poly x gate. And similar to qubit 1, which is also applied a poly x gate, they both show the output of 1. As you can see the output, they are just slanted towards 1. And here for the qubit 2, now you need to understand the qubit 2, it is 50% 0 and 50% 1. So there is an equal chance you can get 0 and there is an equal chance you can get 1 when you apply Hadamard gate. So this is how you can see the complete working of a qubit in a quantum circuit. This is just a basic implementation to get an understanding how a qubit process through a circuit. Okay, until now we have seen what are the basic different types of gates and how they are applied to the qubits in order to change their positions from cat 0 to cat 1 or even stay between the positions of cat 0 and cat 1. Now we are going to learn how we are going to learn a quantum computing topics from very basic level to the complex level. So in order to make it very easy, I have developed a simple gaming interface through which everyone can learn the quantum computing topics from very basic level to the complex level. Hello everyone, my name is Vijay and now I am going to show you my game through which we can learn quantum computing topics very easily. As you have seen, what are the basic operations performed on the qubits and what are the gates involved in performing those operations. It is very easy, like I have developed a gaming interface through which you can learn quantum computing by answering those quizzes 
and going to the story board game. Yes, it's true. As you can see the screen where the Quantum Warrior, the game interface has been displayed and now it contains 10 chapters and each chapter contains 10 levels in it. So in each level you will learn something related to the quantum computing from very basic level to the complex level. Now coming to this level 1 which is called as the classical world and when you click on start level and clicking on the start challenge you will be opening a pop up like a book interface in where you will be showing all the quantum computing topics in page by page. Now, while moving to the next page, we can see what is the difference between classical and quantum computing as it is the basic topic we need to understand while learning the quantum computing. And going to the next page, we will be seeing, we will be diving into the concept very deeper, like why quantum computing is used and what is the difference between the classical computer and the quantum computer. As it is the first level and the basic level, this is what the topic it contains. And what is the unique thing in it is the topic or the matter inside this is completely generated by using an AI agent. So the matter always being refreshed and always being updated as AI is being continuously updating, the context in this page is also constantly keeps on updating. So that is the unique point which you need to observe. And after completing all, after completing the theory part like this, we are going to answer the quiz related to the theory part. And this quiz is also being generated by an AI, by the content which it displayed in the before pages. So by analyzing the content, it will be giving you three questions. So by answering those three questions, you will be redirected, you, you will be going to the next levels. See, now I have completed the quiz and I have got 2 stars out of 3 because I have answered only 2 questions correct and 1 answer wrong. So now after seeing this you can go into the next level only by passing this before level with 2 star qualities. So if you answer 2 questions among 3 questions correctly then only you can pass to the next level. So this helps you to learn the topics very keenly and observe the theory very accurately. So that by studying all the theory perfectly only you can answer those 3 questions correctly. So answering minimum 2 questions among the 3 will lead you to the next level. And completing all these levels will make you master all the topics in quantum computing. Thank you.